Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Katherine Atkins. I'm so glad that you've stopped by today. Um, yeah, today's video, I'm just recapping 2018. It has been an awesome year and a lot of really great things happened. And so I'm going to share 10 of those things with you today. Probably could have done more. Uh, I feel like I started like scrambling for things. Not that there wasn't a lot of good things, but it's kind of funny things to share. You'll eventually see what I mean. Um, but anyways... Yeah, I want to preface one thing. If you hear, I feel like I'm always saying this, if you hear like chewing or screwing around, that is Bailey in the background, so don't mind him. Hopefully you can't hear it, but if you do, that is what it is. So yeah, my top 10 of 2018. Let's get into it. Okay, so again, before I start going on this list, um, if I have any video footage um, of any of these things, I'm going to include that. So this video may be broken up just a little bit, but you will get to kind of see some of the experiences that I got to enjoy and yeah so anyways so the first thing that happened this year I turned 25 um prior prior to that 24 up to it um I don't know like I expected all these really like crazy things to happen and it has been a whirlwind of a year like it's been awesome 25 has treated me really well so I think I think I don't know I had all these strange expectations um, if I've like just rambled with you guys before, it's been that I don't feel like an adult sometimes. Um, and so like, I put all this pressure on 25 that when I stepped into my 25th year, things were going to change. They really didn't. But again, as I continue on this list, a lot of great things did happen this year. I had fun celebrating my birthday. Um, and then things that followed were pretty great as well. One of those things that followed turning 25 was getting Bailey. So I had wanted Bailey, if you've not seen him, he's he's down there, you may help him all up in a minute, but he is my little miniature wiener dog. He's pushing full-sized wiener dog um, because of his weight. He likes to eat. He's still, he's right over a year old, but anyways, he is a doppel, dapple. Um, I guess he's kind of red. He's red, whatever. Um, and he's just the cutest. He has two, um, he has two eyes, but they don't match. Um, one is like this blue with, I don't know, it's a glass eye basically, just kind of speckled, it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, he's just the cutest thing. And it's really funny because when we first got him, like he was teeny tiny. And now he's still really small, like he is an incredibly small dog, but he's not as small as when we first got him. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna show you some of that footage I think that I have from when we first got him. So cute. I think we have a picture too. So here that is now. So you can see what I mean. He was really small, so incredibly cute, and just love him so much. I'm still struggling. If you are familiar with wiener dogs, they are incredibly independent and they, he minds, he does mind, but um, still struggling with the potty training thing. It's totally my fault. I feel like I should have already been like more, more. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like he should already be potty trained by now. But alas, he is not. And we're still working on that. Me and Bobby are. Um, but hoping it's going to get better. Um, he will go out and use the bathroom. But then, like, it's usually, like, bedtime. Like, when I'm asleep, he'll get up and he, like, might crawl under my bed and sprinkle a little bit. So that has been a challenge trying to get him to not do that but um nothing inside the house has not been much of a problem thankfully like he's not he hasn't been bad about that um I feel like if we've left him for a really long period of time then maybe like he's accidentally done it like one or two times but I mean it's not it's not the worst so anyways just trying to work out the bathroom but anyways all that to say Bailey is a doll of a dog and we just love him so much so the next thing on my top 10 of 2018 was my walk to Emmaus. If you're not familiar with Walk to Emmaus, um, it is a weekend spiritual retreat. Um, it starts, and this may vary per walk, I don't know, I've only been on my one walk, but we got there on a Thursday night, um, and then we left Sunday night, and it just was, it was so amazing. Um, I think what they say about the walk is that it's trying to equip uh, people in the church to like step up and be leaders in the church. Um, I know that there were people that went with it that were not as um, not as like strong in their faith. Maybe they weren't as like um, 
outspoken or maybe they were still learning um, and and when I say like growing I don't mean like just standardly growing but like maybe they were just new to faith new to God new to this walk with Christ and so um, they were kind of figuring that out um, but but all that to say my walk was amazing I really enjoyed it it was amazing to see just how much like I don't know I think I take for granted um, the love that my family shows me it was amazing to see like love from people that I don't um, that I didn't know just like loving on me and and just being the hands and feet of Christ it was amazing like the people there were just wonderful examples of how we should be treating our brothers and sisters in Christ through Christ like the way that we should be treating everybody so anyways it was just really wonderful if you again are not familiar with the walk to Emmaus I would love to talk to you more about it in the comment section just like holler at me down there and we can chat also if you have heard of it and you have not done it um yeah, you should do it. I know it's like totally in God's, God's timing when it's going to work out for you to go on your wall, but it is so incredibly incredible. So you should go. I hope you get to go. It is such a gift to be received and it just, it was amazing. I wish I could like tell you guys more. It's part of the walk to Emmaus. It's not that it's like a secret, but like the entire weekend, the retreat is just a surprise basically. And like, that's why I can't say so much about it. But anyways, hope you're interested. I hope you get to go. It's all good. Anyways, the next thing on my top 10 of 2018. Okay, so let me preface these next two things. There are a handful, a hand, there are a few women that I just like absolutely love in the music world, okay? One of those people was Miranda Lambert. I've actually seen her twice in concert. Just amazing. Love love her, loved her music. It was just a fun concert both times. One time she was like <sighs> opening, I think there were like three shows. It was like somebody, Miranda, and then it was, it was the Brad Paisley concert, but I mean Brad Paisley was great and all, but I was definitely there to see Miranda Lambert. So um, she was awesome, but then I also got to see her own concert. I don't even remember who would have been opening for her. Uh, yeah, I do. It was Justin Moore he was opening for us before he like got it really big which is crazy um so anyways she's awesome saw her marked off my list a long time ago the other three people on my list are bands whoa Bailey you okay um Alanis Morissette Shania Twain and the Spice Girls and I get bet you can guess which group or individual I have not seen yet so back in May Memphis in May me and Bobby got to go see Alanis Morissette in concert and she was just incredible. I don't have, I don't believe I have any footage, excuse me, from that concert. I do have like one really crummy picture of her on stage. We're actually pretty close. Um, so well, let me just see if I can share that with you. So there's the picture and yeah, that was just amazing. I just, Last Christmas, I actually got her CD just because it was in the $5 section. I was like, oh, well, I really like her music. Let me listen to that CD. Um, guys, it was just incredible. So that was in Memphis in May. Then back over the summer, we, me and Bobby, again, Bobby is a rock star. Like, I love him so much. Take a minute to listen to these girls sing. Um, we went to Duluth, Georgia. Oh, we got to see Shania Twain. And I know I have some footage from her stuff, so I'm going to share some of that. I think it was on Snapchat, so the video quality may not be the greatest, but here it is. share one little thing so I've I've listened to Shania Twain since I was an itty bitty little girl like my dad was hardcore country music I mean so naturally you know gonna listen to her and when we got to the concert like just belting out all of her stuff just absolutely had a blast and I like I'm embarrassed but at the same time like I'm not embarrassed um 
she waved. She just generically like waved out into the crowd. But you guys, I just knew she was waving at me. And so naturally I'm just like, hey, should I? And I'm waving back and like, you know, I'm nowhere close. Like she's walking down this aisle, but by golly, I like freaked out and waved at her. And I might've even had a little tear in my eye because I just knew like she was waving at me. And Bobby just laughed at me really, really hard. But I don't even care because Shania Twain was waving at me and it was great and you know check two more off my list dreams fulfilled Spice Girls if you'll get your act together and just have like one more reunion tour I know every time it's always like it's the last time but if you could just have one more reunion tour I think I might be one of your like youngest fans that are actually your fan so that would be just wonderful if they could get back together and then that would be like that, those are my four like I'm not putting anybody else on my list so the Spice Girls could just get back together I would be so appreciative but anyways Alanis Shania you guys were wonderful and I just had a blast I think Bobby even had a good time too so anyways and I'm so thankful he's a good sport like he's like yeah we can go mm, love him so much so the next thing my top 10 of 2018 um this is I guess number six was Ragbra so I actually made a video talking about Ragbra if you're not familiar with it it is the let me try registered the registers annual great ride across Iowa registers annual great bike ride across Iowa there it is um so this year was like the fourth easiest ride that they've had and it's been like 50 60 something years um and the mileage was like 420 um so there was actually a storm um during the week but there was also a storm right before and several tornadoes I think went through the towns so we were supposed to have gone through tore them up really bad so they ended up rerouting um our track so it ended up probably being like a little over 450 miles um don't call me on that but anyways we had a blast and I just I don't know if I'll do it again um me and Bobby talked about that like we wouldn't do it again just by ourselves if we had some other friends going with us and we probably would do it again but it was so fun um just everything about it so i'm going to show you just a little bit of the footage that i have because i don't think i posted any of that in the other video so here it is now again like snapchat quality but here you go And like one more thing that I wanted to share about this ride, um, we got really tickled, found out later that Lance Armstrong like biked part of this bike ride with us and not that I'm like the biggest cyclist or the biggest Lance Armstrong fan, but that was pretty awesome. So that was just a wonderful experience and I think I even said it in the, in the last video, but I had met a lady on this mission trip that I took. Um, to Costa Rica and she was there from Iowa and she was just chatting it up and that's how I found out about it and I'm so glad that me and Bobby got to do it that was definitely one of those things on my like it's weird to say bucket list but things I wanted to do while I still could do them so anyways wonderful wonderful experience seventh thing on my top 10 of 2018 we got to go to Lake Junaluska with my youth group so we took them over there that's in uh Waynesville North Carolina and it is basically a, the Methodist Conference Retreat Center. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. If I have any footage or anything, I'll show that to you right now. Yeah, anyways, it was just a beautiful place. And it's some, some place, it's a place that I wanted to go to ever since I was um, like in middle school with my youth group. We didn't have the opportunity to we did not have the opportunity to go, but I'm glad I did and got to take my youth. So that was really awesome. And it's just so beautiful up there. So my number eight, um, the town that I work in, we'll just say town so we don't bring too much attention to it, um, has this thing called the Flywheel Festival. And they had a 5K um, back this fall. And I ran the 5k. 
and I got first place in my division and my friends that is a first and probably a last for me but I'm so tickled pink it made my list because I like to run like I love to run I'm not the fastest person I'm not the um well, I'm just not the best runner in the world, but I do enjoy it, and so it tickled me pink to get first in my division, and top it off, it was my best time, um, it was my best time as an adult, uh, when I was in high school, middle school, I ran cross country, and obviously, I've slowed down a, a lot, um, but it, it was good, it was good, good time, and first in the division, I'm proud of myself, um, so my number nine, um, it's kind of silly, um, but I went blonde, and the only reason that I share that is because I've never dyed my hair to that extent. I've dyed my hair darker, um, because I have gray hair, and so I'm constantly trying to cover that up, but over the summer, I just decided for, I wanted to change, and so I did, and I don't know that blondes have more fun, but I did enjoy the hair color. I was definitely a little more freaked out as a blonde because it was over the summer and anytime I wanted to go swimming, I went swimming, but I was also incredibly frightened that my hair was gonna turn green. So ladies that are like blonde all year round, um, go you, because I would be like freaking out. <laughs> Constantly paranoid about my hair turning. Um, the color is not supposed to be, but I did, um, I did enjoy being blonde. It was fun. And my hair is still, it's not blonde, but it is still lighter than it, um, than it naturally is, than it has been. And so, I presume, assume something, I do something, that it's going to get lighter. Um, but anyways, I'm digging it now how it is, so I don't know if I'll ever be as blonde as I was, but yeah. Did I show you guys the picture? Here it is. Yeah, so my number 10, and this is probably like, not so much as an ex, well I guess it kind of actually was an experience, um, my number 10, just kind of a highlight little thing we did, so we replaced things around the house, and they were kind of big things, they were our hot water heater and our dryer, and so like, I know that sounds like a weird thing to be like, why is that in your top 10, but... I will say this, if you've ever had your dryer go out on you for your clothes, or if you've ever had your hot water heater go out on you, it is a pain in the butt. And so we like had, had rigged and rigged and rigged and had the electricians come over and like fix it for as long as it could until basically they just wouldn't work anymore. Um, my friends, if you ever want to take a shower in the wintertime or a bath in the wintertime, not having hot water it's a luxury. Like it really is. Like we could have taken a bath, sure, but we would have like frozen to death. So, anyways, I'm so thankful that those things were replaced. Um, I mean, they are, they are so nice to have. We are so fortunate to have a hot water heater and a dryer. And if you don't have those things, I'm sorry because I definitely have taken them for granted. But once they go out on you, you really do appreciate them. So, anyways, so glad we got those things replaced. And then, near future, we've got some more stuff. I was talking to somebody about this the other day that, um, eventually got to get around to replacing the roof, the washer, and the air conditioning units and get them redone because I think they are as old as our house and the house was built in some point in the 70s. So it's just that time like everything just starts when it rains it pours and everything has just stopped working on us at once. So anyways I'm just glad that we have made a bit of a dent in the whole fixer upper, not fixer upper, but getting things done, getting them fixed, and we don't have to worry about our hot water heater going out on us anytime soon. So, anyways, all that to say, it has been a good year. We've got some really awesome things done. We, I mean, not on this list, but we did some major cleaning. We have just, oh, we've cleaned. We have had experiences. It has just been a really good year. We've got a little fur baby back there. You can see him. He's looking. Yep, Bailey. So, anyways. Uh, I think that is all that I have to share with you guys. My next video that I'm going to put out will be kind of like my goals, hopes and goals and dreams for 2019. So if you're interested in that video, um, please subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so you will know when that video goes up and is live and all of that good jazz. Also, feel free to comment down below um, what were some of your favorite things from this year, what have been some of the your top tens of 2018 or the best things that have happened to you this year 
I don't know why I feel like I've been on speed this video. I'm sorry I've talked so fast, but hopefully you understand. And yeah, I think that is it. I will talk to you very I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.